Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strict. Thank you so much for being here. I am so excited to give you guys this video because I will be reviewing and demoing and giving it a test wear for two brand new products from Maybelline. The Dream Urban Cover Foundation with 50 SPF along with the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Concealer. These are both brand new products from Maybelline and they have a lot of hype. So I'm really excited to show you guys these two products. They are on my face and like I said, I will be giving you guys a demo, tell you all the claims and all that jazz. So I really hope that this video is very helpful and I also hope that you enjoy it. And if you do enjoy it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so let's just dive right in. I'm actually so excited to be doing this video because I've been wanting to try out this foundation, the Urban Cover, forever ago, and I couldn't find it anywhere, and I finally found it, and when I found this at my Target, I also found this one, which is a Super Safe Concealer, and I looked it up because I was like, I've never heard of this concealer, and there's only two videos on YouTube about it right now, so I was like, let me get on that and make my video ASAP so that I can give you guys some reviews before you go out and buy it. I also checked on the Maybelline website and it says coming soon. So I don't know what the deal is, but I'm here to review both of these for you to see if it's worth your money. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and read the claims for the foundation, apply it, see how it feels, then read the claims for the concealer, and then I can finish off my whole face and tell you guys what we're working with and how I'm liking it. So again, this is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Foundation with SPF 50, and I do have the shade 228 Soft Tan. All right, so it says that this is a lightweight foundation that leaves a natural looking finish, but protects the skin all day. So there is 16 shades, and they do say that you can apply it with fingertips, beauty sponge, or makeup brush. It does claim that it's full coverage, so we will be testing out the coverage. Since there is 50 SPF, I also wanna check the flashback because usually when you have flashback, it's because there is either silica in your powder or SPF on your foundation or concealer. So I definitely wanna see what it looks like with flash photography. I know that there is a lot of SPF foundations and CC creams and BB creams out there but the ones with the most SPF and the best reviews are all high-end and they're obviously very expensive this one on the Maybelline website retails for $12.99 so let's go ahead and try it out I will use a primer I'm just gonna use a pore filling primer and it's actually from Maybelline as well it's a master prime it is just a silicone primer and I'm just gonna put it in the areas where my pores are a little bit larger like always, I am going to be testing out half of my face with a brush and half with the sponge to see which gives us a better finish. I'm going to be using the Morphe Jack and Hill JH03, which is just a little buffing brush. I'm just going to put it in the back of my hand first and maybe dabble from that. Right off the bat, it's very liquidy and very thin feeling. They do say it's supposed to feel weightless and give you like a skin-like finish. So let's see. Wow, this already looks good. So this is one layer, half of the face. It looks really pretty. In my opinion, this is not full coverage but I don't mind. To me, it's more of a medium coverage, but it feels so light that I don't mind it because I'm sure you can build it up, but this to me looks really, really pretty. I'm gonna put a little bit more just around my nose, maybe right here. I'm just gonna try to build it in certain areas, but I really like the coverage. But again, to me, this is medium coverage. This looks so, so beautiful. I agree, it's not like a super dewy finish and it's not matte, it's like right in the middle, very natural. It looks really nice, so I'm gonna let this settle in a little bit and let's do the other side with a sponge. This is how much I'm putting on half of my face. As you guys can see, it is very, very runny. Okay, I'm gonna blend it out with my e.l.f. sponge. It honestly gave me the same amount of coverage. Again, not full coverage, but definitely a really nice medium coverage. I see the same finish, really. So this is one of those foundations that you can go either way. 
All right, so, so far this foundation looks amazing in camera and also in person. So I guess let's just let it dry while we do concealer and other makeup and little by little I can tell you guys how it's going. Oh my God, Leo, what's, why is Leo always in my videos? So let's talk about this guy. This is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage 24 Hour Under Eye Concealer. This is the packaging that it comes in and then let's get the little component out. So it comes in a little tube like this with a DOFA applicator. As you guys can see, I did get the shade 20 Sand Sable. And the applicator is a flat little doe foot. So as you guys can see by the name and the colors, this um, this looks exactly like the Superstay foundation. It's actually in the same line. And I would try it with that foundation, but I also wanted to review this brand new foundation for you guys. But I will say the Superstay 24 hour foundation from Maybelline is one of my favorites. This is a full coverage yet lightweight concealer with a precise petal applicator that glides the formula onto the skin for a smooth, seamless finish. The under eye concealer is waterproof, transfer, and smudge resistant, and it lasts for 24 hours. I will say there is 12 shades to this, and I personally don't think the shade selection is very good. I was looking for my perfect shade. The shade light medium was way too light, and then the shade medium was so, so, so pink, and the shade honey was way too orange. So uh, the shade sand is the only yellow tone, somewhat medium skin tone concealer that I could find. Hopefully this works for us. By the way, the foundation does come with one fluid ounce and the concealer comes with 0.23 fluid ounces. So let's go ahead and put this under our eyes. I'm gonna do one eye at a time. So this looks a little bit light for me, but like I said, the next shade over was way too pink and then the next one was way too orange. So this is the only one that could work for me. So far, it actually feels pretty thick. I probably put too much on, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna blend it out with that same sponge. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be way too light. It's not horrible, but it'll just be pretty highlighted. I'm also gonna use it as eyelid primer. I blend it out pretty quickly, pretty nicely, but I will say this is not the full, full coverage that I was expecting. This is a really nice medium coverage. It looks really pretty and it looks to have, right now it looks pretty dewy, but it might set into a more velvet finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and just layer a little bit more to see if it is buildable to get that full, full coverage. I will say this shade is not too bad actually. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. <laughs> Okay, so you can definitely build it to a full coverage. So that's really nice. So far, it's actually blending out really nice. It's kind of weird. It doesn't grab too much product, this little paddle. But I also feel like you don't need that much anyways. Let's do a little bit on the nose and a little bit on the chin. Okay, and then again with a second mini layer just to get that full coverage. So it does give you a very high medium coverage and then you can also build it to full depending on what you like. Okay, so the concealer has been sitting under this eye for a little bit and I will say it's not matte but not super dewy. This is definitely also a natural finish which I don't know if that's what it claimed. All right, so let's go ahead and set it with powder. Um, my favorite powder of all time is actually the Maybelline Fit Me, so, so far this is a full Maybelline video. I'm also gonna set my foundation just a little bit where I would normally set. The concealer set pretty good. It's not super drying looking because like I said, it wasn't a matte concealer. It has a, it had a little bit of dew in it. Definitely like a very natural finish and it looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back and let you guys know how everything else applied on top and then we can do a little bit of a wear test. Okay guys, I am back and I do have a full face of makeup. I can leave down below all the products that I use if you are interested, but I have to say everything went on very, very smoothly. I'm actually really, really loving the way this foundation looks. I do like the concealer, but it's not like wowing me to be honest. 
I feel like it's good, but I have better concealers that are also drugstore, but it does look really beautiful. But what's really, really surprising me and just looking really amazing is this foundation. I will say that it is really just going into my smile lines, but honestly, everything does. I do wanna do a flash photography test because I wanna make sure that this doesn't flash back. you guys can see my whole face doesn't look lighter it's just where I concealed so this doesn't have flashback which I'm really shocked about because it has 50 SPF so that is awesome so I would definitely put on SPF if you're gonna be out in the day you should always put SPF but if you want to go out at night and you know you're gonna be taking flash photography and you want to take care of your skin but not have flashback then I would say that this would be a really good way to do it I didn't know I was gonna be filming this video today or I would be filming it sooner it is already noon so I figured we could give this like an eight hour test where I can come back around 8 p.m. and show you guys what it looks like and what are my thoughts so far so good hey guys I am back and I look kind of a hot mess because it's been a long time since I last saw you so it is currently 9 13 come on well now it's 9 14 it's 9 14 ignore that that's my birth control alarm okay so I have my Final thoughts. I really love this foundation. And you know what? I know I was talking smack about the concealer, but I don't know why. I'm just, I feel like when I review concealers, I'm like really picky about it because if I can see any kind of under eye, I'm like, oh, it's not full coverage. But honestly, I don't think there's ever been a concealer that has like 100% covered my under eye. I think it looks fine. I think it actually looks very natural. So let's talk about the foundation first. I think it looks really good on my skin. I really like the look it gives me. All my makeup has held up really well and I feel like I feel like my face looks really good. The only thing is that this definitely sank into my smile lines. I don't know if you guys can tell. This lens doesn't zoom, so this is about as close as I can get, but I don't know if you guys can tell, but my smile lines creased a lot. Um, so that that sucks, you know, that's actually one of the reasons why I don't wear foundation very often It's just I hate that look around my mouth. I hate that so much But um, every foundation is gonna do that But I will say this one did crease a lot, but I kind of expected it because this was such a liquidy foundation So I feel like next time I'm just gonna really try harder to maybe not put as much product around my mouth and also just bake. It does sink into the fine lines a little bit, but other than that, on the skin, it looks really nice. It doesn't make my pores look huge. My skin looks lifelike, and I love that about it. So if you don't mind it settling into some fine lines, then you will like this. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to, have to keep trying this and just setting my face. I just need to set my face more. I have normal to dry skin. It really just depends on the season. But I do feel like if you have very, very oily skin, I don't know how you're gonna like this because on me, it looks so natural. But if I were oily, I don't know if that would be like borderline greasy. If you do have oily skin and you try this, just make sure you really set your face. But for me, I love it and I think it looks really good on camera. I feel like this would be really good for pictures. As for the concealer, like I said, I do like it. It doesn't make my under eyes look dry or anything. It's a medium coverage. It doesn't wow me, but it's also pretty good. I will say though, I prefer the Maybelline Dark Circle Eraser, the H Rewind, just because it actually reminds me a lot of the foundation. It's a little bit thinner consistency, but it's a lot of coverage. This one is thicker, but it does blend out really nice. So, um, you know, it's good. It's not the best, but if you're looking for a new concealer, you want to try it out, then just try it out. But I feel like the foundation definitely was my favorite. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that this was helpful. Um, let me know if you've tried any of these products or if you're going to, how do you like it? Let me know. Um, yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so, so much. Let me know what you guys want to see next and I will see you guys next time. Bye.